Hello Virgo, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Virgo, these messages are timeless. I'm hearing time sensitive. Okay, so for some of you, this is gonna be a time sensitive message. I got that same um, message for cancer. So for some of you, you can have a significant cancerian placement. But something time sensitive about this message for someone. This is also general, so not everything is going to resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. So let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some energy for Virgo, please. Why is Virgo here? I mean, <laughs> I know why you're here, Virgo. You're special. You're lovely. You're loved by God, the most high. <laughs> Give me some energy for Virgo. What messages do you have for Virgo, please? Messages for Virgo. Next 48 to 72. Ooh, I have four of wands. All right. In judgment. Okay. So judgment could be being called on the situation here. For some of you, this could have to do with the relationship, somebody you share a home with, a family dynamic. This could actually just be um, a family unit. It don't have to be anything romantic. This could be like your brother, sister, cousin, so forth. But something's definitely being called um, when it comes to you and someone else or a group of people. Let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some messages on the four of wands. The number four um, is very significant. The number 44, for some of you, you could be seeing um, the number 1111 quite often. The high priestess, and we have it with the seven of swords. So we have Pisces out here. So there's some type of deception here. Um some hidden deception somebody's been trying to get away with something however with the two swords being left behind it's like somebody like left a trail so this person was not able to get away with what they thought they would be able to this person is about to be exposed for any lies or deceit. But yeah, somebody didn't cover their tracks completely. Tell me more about this high priestess. Why is this high priestess here? Clarifying the four of wands. Mm, the five of swords. So somebody like wants beef. I'm actually hearing was beef by Big and Smalls. Yeah, somebody wants some beef with you. Yeah, oh, the page of swords and the knight of swords. Listen, somebody is angry here. Somebody's upset. Somebody want to have some words. Something could also deal with like slander, gossip as well, Virgo. But somebody has some harsh words to say about you or to you. Yeah, somebody wants to smoke here. Somebody wants drama. Somebody wants to argue. For some of you, this person wants to compete with you. I heard vicious. Yeah, somebody could viciously attack you here verbally. Or that's what's going to be happening in the next 48 to 72 hours. Give me some energy on the high priestess. Judgment came out again. So I'm hearing like a ruling. Virgo, something's going in your favor here. Despite whatever someone tried to do to delay you. Tried to win here at all costs like it's still going in your favor whatever this person tried to stop it's still gonna work out for you give me an energy on the seven of the five of swords what do i have oh the six of wands and the seven of pentacles so listen Whatever this person is doing, it's not working. Whatever this person is waiting on, it's not going to happen. So somebody's waiting on you to fail your downfall. It ain't going to happen. This person's waiting is in vain. And somebody did a lot too. They did a lot of work. They put in a lot of effort, but it's just not working. You shall not be defeated here. Yeah. 
they, it's just wasted time and energy. Give me a message on judgment. Yeah, we have the chariot, Cancerian energy. You're being pushed forward here. God is literally pushing you forward. You're being guided. Give me an energy on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So somebody could have tried to trap you up here, get you caught up. Give me an energy on the Ace of Wands. This could be somebody that you have a family with or somebody who desire to have a family with you. Yeah, something deals with, you know, physical attraction here. Give me some energy on the Ace of Wands. Somebody tried to stick you for your paper. Ooh, the Five of Pentacles in the world. But it came out in reverse. So listen, somebody's new beginning is to be in lack. Yeah, somebody is really going to be struggling. Somebody may not have a place to stay here with this world in the reverse. I'm just getting like looking energy. Somebody could be looking for a home at this time. I mean, this is going to be an endless cycle. I heard of poverty and just hardship. You could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Give me an energy on this King of Pentacles. Why is this King of Pentacles here? The King of Swords. So somebody's being cut off. You could be cutting someone off, Virgo. I heard righteous. So if somebody wants to do what's right or somebody's being forced to do what's right. Give me another energy on this King of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. Somebody didn't see this coming. This judgment, the fact that they would be under judgment, they didn't see this coming. Somebody was unaware of what was about to happen. Somebody was in La La Land, just going about their life day to day, their normal routine. This happened like unexpectedly. This was like a major shift out of the blue for this person. Give me some energy on the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for Virgo? The lovers in the reverse. So for some of you, this could be somebody that you ended a relationship with, Gemini energy, who tried to destroy you here, defeat you, destroy her popularity. So yeah, destroy your reputation. But again, whatever this person invested in, it was just wasted time. It's going to be somebody that you were just sleeping with for some of you. A water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Feminine. Yeah, somebody who wanted to create a lot of conflict and drama in your life. Brought you the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. The number five could be significant or the number 55. This could also be um, the mother of your child or children. Give me some energy for the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for Virgo? The title card. Somebody's getting the message that whatever it is that they were invested into, it's not working. Somebody is literally seeing this play out. Yeah, Seven of Cups to the Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody feels defeated. Because again, whatever they did, look at how she's looking at these cups. Like somebody literally tried everything. Okay, Virgo, they tried everything and nothing worked. And now somebody's walking away defeated. They feel at a loss. They don't know what else to do. Somebody stuck. Somebody got themselves stuck. Give me an energy on this chariot. Why is this chariot here? The star in the reverse. So somebody's getting the message 
about a lot of endings here, a lot of upheavals that's occurring in their life or they will be. Something is about to change major. Like this is about to be a drastic change here, Virgo. With this Eight of Wands to the Tower, something's happening very quick. Something's coming out of the blue unexpectedly. Like this person is not going to even be able to catch it or stop it. Give me another energy for the Chariot. Why is the Chariot here? I have the Five of Wands to the Two of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, this could be a friend or somebody that you consider a friend. And again, family. But somebody tried to compete with you. Yeah, for some of you, I'm getting sister. This could be your sister. Somebody's a twin here as well. Yeah, but somebody tried to compete with you. Like somebody tried to influence how you look to other people. And now somebody's under judgment. And again, there's no stopping whatever this is. Like, this is moving full speed ahead. I'm actually hearing the sound of a train when it blows its horn. Yeah, it's coming. There is no stopping this. Give me an energy on the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Ooh, the emperor in the reverse. So yeah, for some of you, this definitely could be somebody you're in a relationship with. The father of your child, your children. Also, I'm getting like a collaboration. So this person could have partnered with someone. But it's like, this emperor in the reverse, like, they've lost their status. They've lost their crown here with this star, Aquarius energy, Aries on the emperor. Yeah, this person partnered with somebody. This could have been a friend or somebody that they were in a relationship or a family member. Somebody partnered up to go against you here. And now this person is like no longer in the upright. This person has lost a lot. Somebody didn't act with integrity. Somebody um don't make good decisions. Um could struggle financially or don't know how to manage their finances. Yeah, somebody could be very ice cold here. And now they're under judgment. Yeah, somebody partnered with somebody here. Give me an energy on the world. Why is the world in the reverse? Yeah, to come up against you. For some of you, this emperor in the reverse was like the ringleader. They brought this five of wands energy to you tell me more about the world in a reverse the will of fortune baby karma <laughs> sagittarius leo scorpio aquarius taurus Heavy on those signs, this person or these people could be any of these signs or have it highly aspected, but it's like an endless cycle of karma. Give me something else on the world. This is time-sensitive message, a time-sensitive message. Give me an energy on the world in the reverse. Something's happening in the here and now. This is time-sensitive. The magician in the reverse. Ooh. Somebody losing control. Somebody or um, they're about to. Yeah, somebody don't lost control here. But some of you, somebody don't lost their gifts, their spiritual gifts. I'm hearing lost their power. Yeah, lost their ability to manifest, to call in things that they desire. Yeah, seven of swords because somebody was very sneaky and they thought they was getting away with something, but no, God sees all. And somebody left evidence anyway. So the truth is coming out. Everything's going to point back to this person or these people. Give me an energy on the two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Somebody's house is under judgment. Somebody's fourth house is under judgment. Or this could be a group of people's fourth house is under judgment. 
and not her lineage. Give me an energy on the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? It ain't nothing but the truth. The Ace of Swords. So this person did not see that the truth was going to come out. Yeah, judgment was going to be called in the situation. Something was going to be made fair, was going to be made right. This person didn't see this. Now somebody's struggling here. Five of Pentacles with the world in the reverse, an endless cycle. Somebody's going to have to do multiple cycles of struggles, challenges, hardships. I'm hearing somebody sold a seed on their fourth house. Somebody sold karma on their fourth house. It's if somebody's in debt to the most high, they owe a debt. Give me um another energy on this two of swords, please. Why is the two of swords here? Justice. What? Ace of Swords. Justice. Libra energy. King of Swords. God is all over this. Yes, yes, yes. Justice is being called in the situation again. Something's going to be made right. Ready or not. <laughs> Something's going to be made fair. These skills are going to be balanced right on out. Yes, it is. Give me your energy for the King of Swords. I'm also hearing somebody been had. Somebody was had here. So somebody don't got caught up. Something was just an illusion. It was just foolery. It wasn't what this person thought it was. Somebody couldn't see the truth. Yeah, somebody had been had here. Somebody got caught up into something they wasn't supposed to be in. They fell for the lies, the deception, the deceit. And then I have Queen of Swords. Mm, get Virgo. This is what I'm getting. So this King of Swords, right? Called Judgment. And this Queen of Swords is going to deliver it. That's what God just said to me. Say this King of Swords called judgment. And this Queen of Swords is going to deliver the judgment. I'm hearing the song Blessed and Highly Favored. Virgo, you are blessed and highly favored. Whatever this person tried to do to create drama, chaos, conflict, or these people try to ruin your reputation, you are blessed and highly favored. Judgment has been called and judgment is about to be delivered. Mm. And then I just heard, look at me now. Look at me now. Ten of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups. The seven of wands. Somebody been trying to block you from moving forward to your wealth, your destiny here. Your ancestry, your heritage. Somebody's been trying to stop this. But like I said, justice has been called and it's about to be delivered. You shall prosper. You shall be abundant. I'm getting affirmations. Virgo, speak affirmations over your life daily. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. These people are only going to burden themselves. Give me one more on the King of Swords, or they already have. Give me another energy on the King of Swords. I don't know much about astrology, but I would definitely just go look at the fourth house. I'm still learning. But Spirit says somebody reaped karma on their fourth house. <clears throat> Give me an energy on the King of Swords. The Nine of Cups. And that's said and done. <laughs> 
that is said it has been said and it is done that's it it's over folks that's what i'm hearing from tiny tunes adventure and and that's all folks that's it there's no going back the wheel is turning it's spinning The Empress, Leo, Libra, and Taurus energy with this Ace of Cups. God is coming to your rescue. You are a divine being. You are a chosen one. God is coming to your rescue. God is getting ready to deliver. An outpouring of love, peace, and blessings in your life. I'm looking at these tears here, what it looks like to be tears. You have cried many times. You've been disappointed many times. But God is about to bring you justice. God is about to bring you peace. God is about to bring you prosperity. You will be abundant. You will walk the path that is destined for you. You will get to your ten of pentacles. You will see your generational heritage. You will get what is owed to you. God is bringing you what is owed to you. Give me some energy on judgment. Give me some energy on judgment. And that's all, folks. That's it. It's over. It's done with. It's being called. It's being delivered. That's done with. Satisfactory. Yes. I heard a satisfactory ruling. So God is satisfied <laughs> with whatever this judgment, whatever this karma is for this person or these people. God is satisfied with it. Well done. Give me an energy on judgment. Why is judgment here? Look at this the star in the sun judgment there will be grieving there will be mourning people are going to lose a lot here this person or these people destiny has been changed For you, Virgo. Again, I'm hearing you're blessed and highly favored. So let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Virgo. Get out of your own way. You are the reason, the cause, and the solution. Take back your power by remembering who you really are. Yeah, they couldn't get out of their own way. Somebody wanted to play God here. Somebody wanted all the power. Somebody didn't want to take accountability for their actions. Somebody was projecting their own insecurities, their own issues upon you, not realizing that they needed to go within. Somebody forgot who they were. They forgot, you know, what they stood for. They forgot their calling, what they were called here to do. Somebody was too focused on you and what you had going on and not focused on themselves, their own purpose, their own destiny here. Somebody just stood in their own way. And now they have to pay for their choices. Destinies have been changed. So Virgo, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Time sensitive. These are time sensitive messages. Spirit keeps saying that. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.